What's going on guys? Today we got a brand new product on my channel here we're going to be testing out today. It's from Chemical Guys. It's their big old jet seal. Everybody knows about it. Everybody kept asking me about it for probably the last two years on my YouTube channel here. So I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up and try it out. I never actually knew I'd be trying it out on my new uh, 2013 GTR, but just the way things work out. So what, what better way to put it on than on the GTR and make an action video look fun and, you know, amusing for me. So, uh, and you guys will all like it. So what I just got done doing is I washed it, I clay barred it. I uh, took swirls out. God, whoever had this car before me treated it like complete garbage. The swirls were so bad in this, it probably took me four to five hours to get this out. And that, that is no joking. It took just time and time again. I had to go over certain areas. And I'd say they're about 98% gone, but I mean, there might be a few areas that I need to pick out. But my God, it was horrible. And I can't let you guys see a car that's in that, just that bad of a shape on my YouTube channel. So I had to take care of it before we'd go ahead and apply some Jet Seal. So that's the plan today. I'm actually going to roll it back in the garage. This is going to be a two-day video right here because what I'm going to do today is actually make the actual application video. And then tomorrow I'll show you the final uh, review video of it. So what we'll do is we'll just go in applying it by our uh, Griot's Garage 6-inch DA polisher. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we'll just do let it sit the 20 minutes like it says. We'll do one, one section at a time while the other sections are drying. And then just have to simply come and buff it out. That's all there is really to this sealant. It shouldn't be too hard to apply. Supposedly it can last for 12 months. Do I know that? No, but I'll be able to tell you somewhere down the road. So I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, we're going to roll it in there, just do one section at a time, and because the shade's already starting to creep in, as you can probably see on the car, I want to give you the best possible results I, uh, that I can on uh, when it actually comes to the walk around and the results. So I will wait till tomorrow to actually do that during the day. So right now it'll just be application day, and then we'll move on from there. So I'll see you in second side at the garage. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You going to demonstrate us how to do the chemical guy's jet seal for us? Your hair is a trip. You look like a mad scientist. So my boy Nathan's out here with me today. This is how parenting 101 for dad style. We're actually out here detailing the car, as you guys know. And my boy's out here hanging tight with me. Otherwise, he will scream and rage. So you going to show us how to do it? Yeah, you are. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get back to the actual application process. All right, guys. Welcome back. I know I'm a little bit off camera right now, but I'm trying to show you the hood is exactly what I'm actually working on, so I'm trying to do the best I can. We're going to be using my Griot's Garage DA 6-inch polisher here with a red foam pad. It's really, really soft for uh, applying sealants, waxes, or whatever. There really is no uh, grit to it. I mean, it's just super soft compared to, say, an orange cutting pad or any one of the higher levels right there. So that's what we're going to be using right here. It shouldn't take too, too long. You can actually apply this on your hood, your window, windshields, your headlights. And you don't need a lot. Remember, thinner is easier for you, especially when it comes to uh, applying any waxes or sealants or anything like that. You don't have to apply a lot, so don't go crazy trying to apply a lot because it's just it's not going to help, and it's going to make it a lot worse trying for you to get it back off again. And I'm going to be applying it today with, of course, my polisher because I just want to make it go nice and fast. You can easily apply this by hand with a microfiber applicator or anything like that, one of those like uh, UFO type sponge type things, but I'll be just doing it here because I want to knock it out. I'm still having to be a uh, daddy at home all day long before I work at night. And I want to hurry and get this done because I've got to get your guys' this giant long review video out by Saturday, which is only two days away. It's taking that long to get these damn squirrels out and try to be the dad at the same time. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and shake the thing up really good here. You guys, we're going to be applying five little droplets to um, the red uh, pad right quick, and then we're just going to go ahead and uh, dot it out a little bit across the way, and that should be it, okay? So that's about it. You see what I mean right there? Little pea-sized spots right there. We're just going to go ahead and spread it all the way out, and then go from there. All right. So sorry if my son, you hear this in the background, but uh, I just want to let you guys know with what's going on here. And you can actually spread out this pretty, pretty stinging fast, okay? So we're going to start down to the lowest setting. You can see setting one on mine, which is the lowest, or you can even use two if you really want to, but you don't need a lot to spread wax and sealant. So let's go ahead and get started. Shouldn't be too long. See what I mean? I can do it with just one heat and the whole time. I don't need to put a lot of pressure. There's no pressure needed when you're applying a sealant. It's just so easy. Alright guys, welcome back here. I've got the camera zoomed in like you can see already on the hood. It is a little bit darker here, obviously the evening is starting to approach, but that's okay. That's why I told you it's going to be a two-day video right quick. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and start removing it. I went ahead and did it basically all the whole car while I was waiting. This is a 20-minute cure time anyways. I figured why not go ahead and knock out the car. With a DA polish, you can knock it out real quick. So all we're going to do now is just take it off like we're removing the steel. I go ahead and fold it in four, so as you can always see. Hand on there like this, so you can spread out the pressure. You just kind of break into the actual like um, the tension 
and then just start easily eating outward from there, you know what I mean? You just want to come up, kind of come out there real simple, doesn't take a lot. This is actually coming off very, very easy, okay? And I'm just going to kind of work my way along the car. And I'm telling you right now, this is coming off like a complete dream, okay? I mean, you know how some waxes are out there that are, I know this is a ceiling, but I know how some waxes, you know, are going to like just kill your shoulder and stuff like that. Whereas some of the higher end products come off like a dream. Well, this is the higher end product and it actually is coming off very, very easy, you know, like I said. So I do love it. Now, if it actually gives me the full 12 month protection, that's great. And now for you guys that might have the question already out there, can you apply waxes? Yeah, once the sealant's on there, you apply a wax to it, slap a wax to it. I'd probably wait about 24 hours to slap a wax to it, just for me and my own purposes, but you can definitely do it. And then just flip it over, buff out any remainder stuff, and you're golden. Let me tell you, this has been simple to remove, okay? So that's all I'm gonna be doing through the whole rest of the car. I'm just gonna buff it all out real quick. <laughs> Dude, this is easy, easy, easy as pie. So, very simple sealant to use, no questions here, no problems here. So, let me go ahead and finish off the rest of the car. By probably tomorrow when you see me, it'll be obviously the next day, it'll be nice and bright outside and it'll all be all buffed out for you. So, I just want to give you the best results I possibly can by doing it while it's really sunny outside. Versus now where the shade is all like covering my driveway. So, there you go guys. Let me finish it up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. All right, guys, time for those final results of the Chemical Guys Jet Seal Sealant. I've got to tell you, the car looks spectacular. It was so easy to apply, especially with the DA polisher, and just wiped off with complete ease. One of the easiest products I've used in a very long time. So right there already, two thumbs up already. Uh, how long is it going to last? If they claim 12 months. Do I personally know? No, I do not. So I was just going to tell you right now that for now, it looks really, really good. Now I plan on rolling this back in the garage here, put laying a nice layer of uh, some good carnival wax on top of it. But I can tell you right now, this car is already stunning. I'm gonna bring the camera up, up off the tripod, walk it around, show you the best I can between all the lawnmowers going off and stuff like that today. So I'm hurrying up, trying to rush this video uh, ending here anyways. But I wanted to actually show you exactly what GTR looks like now. It looks gorgeous, gorgeous. And I cannot wait to get it out. This is, I haven't even been able to drive it in a week. Just because I'm trying to get all these nasty squirrels out, I finally got it basically all out, everything's done, it looks really good. Now I'm trying to get some videos out and then do a full walk around video for tomorrow's actually release. So, doing the best I can with all the lawnmowers and stuff like that today. So, I'm going to hurry up, grab the camera off the tripod, show you the final results. But so far already, without a doubt, two thumbs up. So, so simple, so easy. And if it does last me 12 months, all the better. And remember, I keep most of my cars, well, the nicer cars I really love the most, I always stay in the garage. So, just giving you guys a heads up. So anyways, guys, if you did like the video, make sure you give it two thumbs up. I do appreciate it, and time for that walk around. And guys, I will see you all at the very next review. Take care. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to slowly walk you around the car. This is just the jet seal on, like I said, and there's no carnival wax on it, nothing like that. This is the first time I've actually had it out in the sun, so I apologize if there's any smears that I missed. I think I got 100% all of them, but I mean... Whoa, this car looks so beautiful in the sun. I really wanted the blue, the dark blue pearl GTR, but uh, I couldn't find one for a reasonable price. And this thing, the price was just too good to pass up. And everything worked out in the end. And it just looks a thousand times better. I don't know if you can remember uh, one of my last videos with the hybrid V7 and the other stuff. The swirls were everywhere across this stuff. And now after hours and hours and hours and hours of polishing and compound to get rid of it all, um, the car looks stupendous, amazing. It's a pain in the tail to do paint correction. It takes so long of your day, but when it's done right, oh my God. Okay guys, look at this reflection. This car looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So it's funny because if you do go back later on and see some of the videos that I did before the paint swirls and all that stuff were done, I uh, look at the actual um, Wax God uh, premium degreaser. Look up the actual uh, Chemical Guys Hybrid V7 and uh, you'll see exactly what it looked like beforehand. But I mean, the paint is so slick to the touch. I just put my hand across and it just glides across. This is gorgeous. This red is gorgeous. Okay? So there you go, guys. Anyways, guys, there you go. Obviously, you're not going to see that good with a shadow right now. But I do the best I can to show it to you. And uh, there you go. So if you did like it, make sure you hit a thumbs up for that GTR love. Show me some love here. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all the great comments I've gotten so far. And I will see you all at the very next video. There you go. Chemical Guys Jet Seal. Take care.